Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Amanda Nunes graces the proving ground. This time, she wants to leave with the belt. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster, and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ, because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Champion of the world, Arena Aldana! So her Dean third man in there for this one. So here's Amanda Nunes back for more. She can mix it up with any band weight in the world, but believes she has some striking advantages in this particular matchup here tonight that she can take advantage of. Let's see if Nunes follows up on those fight week words and puts them into action tonight. All right, well, the kickboxer didn't like that hook very much. She's going to try to create some distance, but the boxer is doing a good job of getting inside and being heard from with those hands. Well, she has to create distance, but that also allows for that lunging hook. Think back to Rose Namajunas and Joanna Jacek. That jumping hook can also be effective. So she's got to be careful when you're fighting someone that possesses that punch but possesses it in multiple different ways. Nice shots landing from the top position. Making all these shots count. And now she's in mount. Nicely done. 
All right, side control for her now, and you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you my back. Don't give me that. Their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there, and the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom, so even though it was difficult, she got it done, and now she looks to impose herself on her opponent. Oh, and now she'll lead with the right hand, and that snapped her opponent's head back. What accuracy to throw that punch and land it without taking any damage yourself. Those are big strikes. Oh, that hook landed for Just a slip there. Wow, what a head kick. That's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways, and it's starting to pay dividends for her. Man, does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches. There. She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, nice. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Irene Aldana. She's defending pretty well here, avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has the half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions, or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. And there it is again. Her opponent has not had anything resembling an answer for these ground strikes. Altana's back in full guard now. Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the field. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level ground exchanges that they just experienced. Rips the body there. Oh, she's got a roundhouse kick in the Arsenal DC, and she put it to good use there. I mean, landed that kick beautifully. The only reason she didn't spin all the way around is because her opponent's body stopped it because she landed with so much force. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, take a seat. Deep breath. Slow that up. Awesome. Your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean... She knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go as the next round gets underway, and you can see the visible damage on both sides after all of the effective body work there in the previous round. You can see it, the redness. The, the, the tenderizing of the ribs. Yeah. Soon, her opponent will start to drop her hands to protect her body, looking for her to follow up with something over the top. 
Oh, that shot cut her open. It landed perfectly. You know, sometimes it's not the one, it's not the biggest shot, the biggest punch that opens you up. It's just something that lands in the right spot, and that one did exactly that. Front kick to the body by Nunes. Gonna be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You know? She's got her back now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nunes. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, she's got her back. All right, she's going for the submission now. Oh, she's got the arm tight. She's got it isolated. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen. Oh, good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Irene Aldana. Oh, nice. She's nasty on the ground. And now she's cut her, and it looks like it excites her. She is so dominant in the top position. Oh, heavy shots raining down. In the half guard. Round and town, the hammer Mark Coleman will be proud. Another ground and pound strike lands. Aldana's back in full mount. Posture's DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back. She could do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as an I'm your boy, J.E. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, well, she told us she was the best boxer in this division, and certainly the film tonight dovetails with that opinion. Her hands are on point. You know, John, every time they say that, I'm the best in this, I kind of roll my... She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's, like, there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck. Altana's back in the full go. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. 15 seconds remain in the round. The ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nunes. <laughs> Two rounds in the books. All right, all right, sit down, sit down. Don't worry about the cut, you're fine. It's a little bit of blood, not a big deal, not gonna stop the fight. I don't even want you thinking about that. Refocus, let's get our mind right.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. She slips that left hand there. All right, let's see if she can get back to the hook here. Of course, she'll need the setup here, work off of the jab, and punctuate her combination with that patented hook. Nunes is in half guard. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes a lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. All right, so now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Good work from the top here by Nunes. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Nunes is right back to the full mount. This is a terrible position. Well, she's on bottom, but defensively avoiding a lot of these headshots. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Nunez is back in half guard, very comfortable here. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Oh, right in the mount. Great shot from the top position. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing. Try to pass to get good ground to pound off. Oh, man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice straight punch there by Nunes. All right, so her movement defensively left a lot to be desired early on, and now she's got an obvious limp because of those leg kicks. Yeah, those leg kicks have been so damaging. To have someone in front of you that is so intent on landing that certain strike and then to see her desired effect is going to be very difficult to keep her off of that leg kick. Now. Well, fights like this make this sport the greatest in the world. These two ladies have gone back and forth all night. I don't know who's going to be the last woman standing, but it has been one of the best fights of the year. It's been one of the best fights of the year. Both of them. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Power shots landing on both sides. And the shins continue to hold up. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Well, the cut men have done everything they can to keep these two women in this fight, but they are both leaking considerably. I can actually smell the blood from here. Yeah, it's nasty. You can smell iron in the air. John, but it's getting a bit ridiculous. You can barely recognize these two women. 
but they are both unwilling to take a step back. Oh. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so somehow, some way, we have made it to the end of the round. And for these two women, otherworldly toughness on both sides, but those are some damaging cuts. Yeah, they're both cut up. They're both battered. They're both bruised. They have done so much damage to each other. Both of these women laid it all on the line. We're going to show you some replays from that previous round and perhaps isolate the cut that, the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, I mean, these two just were going back and forth. They are so evenly matched and the intensity in which they threw their strikes was crazy. Both of these ladies were trying to knock their opponent's head off the entire time in that round. All right, so let's see how soon into this next round those cuts are reopened. But both of these women have accomplished a lot here tonight offensively. We'll see who can shore things up defensively moving forward. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these champions. Oh, right over the top. Her opponent in a world of trouble now. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. That blood becoming a real factor. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out of there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you got to go for blood. I know it's against her. It's not her M.O. to be over aggressive. But right now, it seems like it's just a matter of time before this fight gets stopped. Aldana's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Really nice job blocking that shot. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Massive body kick lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with air. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some new face so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Just over three minutes now to go. Splits the guard and connects there. And blocks the shot there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Oh, nice kick. She's so fast, so straight, everything. Oh! She postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Very nice leg kick there by Alton. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked out of the Anderson Silva situation. Well, she, oh, no. well, she gets back up here, but she is on wobbly legs. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest.
at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Arena Abdallah. All right, so we congratulate the still UFC Bantamweight champion, and it was the way she got it done tonight, DC, by knockout that's really going to resonate.